Hi there, it's Easter time and we are out in Coombe Abbey, Warwickshire and we found a lot of these mushrooms. These are called Dryad's Saddle. A Dryad is a, from Greek mythology and it's like a kind of tree spirit. And the idea is that this thing can, the Dryad could ride on this like a saddle. It's also called Pheasant's Back because uh, it looks a bit like a pheasant's back. This is actually an edible, edible mushroom when, when young, when you get very young specimens and people also make a uh, kind of thick paper out of it. Dryad saddle, is the Latin name is polyporous squamosus. Polyporous means many pored, squamosus means it's got lots of squamules on it, which means that it's kind of scaly. Apparently dryad saddle is an ingredient of tendon powder in Chinese medicine. It's got lots of interesting compounds in it as most large brackets and polypores do. So we've got the dryad saddle back home, back in my parents' kitchen. Uh, I wish my kitchen was like this. I'm going to chop it up, and what we can do with it is very thinly chop it up because it can be quite tough. Although I've heard mixed reports, even that some large ones can be tender too if you can peel off the pore layer. But let's just give it a go, cut it very thinly, and I'm going to make a sandwich out of it. See what it's like after it's fried, of course. Do it. So here we are. You can see it's polypore layer at the bottom. Quite large, sort of angular pores. This bit is incredibly tough, and incredibly woody. I'd like to see what it looks like cut all the way through. You can already feel this getting tougher and tougher. Almost. Look at that. I'm having to saw that. It's so tough. That clearly can't be eaten. That bit. But the inside, you see it's very nice, and that bit is, well, it's still pretty tough actually, but let's see what we can do with it. I'm going to just cut a piece off. Oh, that, that is unbelievably tough. How about the edge? That seems a bit better. Let's just try that. That'll do. I read online, as one does, that this smells of watermelon and cucumber. I couldn't smell it when it was whole, but now it really does. Yeah, cucumber and kind of watermelony type smell. I've never tasted this before, so it's gonna be really interesting to see what it tastes like. And what I'm gonna do with this is just chuck it in the pan over here. Mm, it smells like wax crayons. <sighs> oh, oh, whoa! Yeah, no, actually, it smells like cucumber close up. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna put a little bit of rapeseed oil in here. Um, rapeseed oil does is quite a mild oil, so it shouldn't impart too much of a flavour to the mushrooms. Just want to get this quite hot. I only want to cook this for like a couple of minutes, so it doesn't get any tougher than it already is. Got an interesting smell coming out of it. I probably didn't want to do it too much more. It probably is. Yeah, yeah. 
Right, let's put it into the sandwich. Doesn't look like a lot now, does it? Should have cooked more, shouldn't I? What a fool. So it'd be worth just trying a little bit of this first. Let's give it a go. Edges weren't tough. That bit. That's just too chewy, I can't eat that. That makes quite a nice sandwich. So, using just the very edge, it's got to be super tender. Otherwise, it's just un unedible. Inedible. Probably make a broth out of it or something like that. Maybe there's a way to tenderize it using papain or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, there you go. That's uh, Dryad's saddle. So where we filmed the last footage was up in the Midlands, where it's quite a bit wetter than down here in the southeast. So when I came back here, I wanted to find another one to add to this video. Find a smaller bit of Dryad saddle and try that out. This is the best I can find, which is past its prime, let's say. It's very old, it's, starting, it's been eaten all over the top. So I'll have to wait probably till next season to find another one and experiment, but that's how it goes sometimes. Anyway, thank you for watching and um, see you next time.